Okay, so this tutorial is just going to briefly take you through the process of accessing the MyCSUN software page, accessing the software, and then opening up the file that you need for your assignment. Uh, note that if you're a PC user, the uh, process is identical, even though I'm currently on a Mac. Uh, at this point, we're in a browser, so everything's going to look the same. So go ahead and access the MyCSUN software.csun.edu website. Hit enter. Enter your CSUN credentials, your login, username and password. Skip log on if you get that message and you've already installed it, it being the software. Go into the ArcGIS 10.3 folder. Then click ArcMap 10 version 3. This will prompt the uh, my CSUN software to download a launch.ica file. Go ahead and click it to open it. Depending on the browser you're in, you may or may not get the download. It may just prompt open, but you're probably going to get a series of prompts asking you to allow and to something along those lines for the for the first time you've ever logged in. You must always allow, accept something. Don't ever deny anything because you might run into issues. So we're going to let the software open. Now here we go, our first prompt asks to read access to one of our folders. Yes, we must do that to make sure we don't run into any issues. Then we're going to wait for the software to load. Okay, so once the software loads, you, your page is going to look similar. However, you're not going to have any um, recent files here. Um, doesn't matter because we're all going to click cancel. And then we're going to be going up to the very top left corner to click the file menu and then select the open option. Now to access the drive you need to find the um, the files for this assignment you're gonna go ahead and click the computer button in the left hand panel here then look for the GeogShare H drive under network location and double click. Once it's open, you'll see there's four options. We are obviously GEOG 105, so double click to access that folder. Then one more time, double click to access the Hurricanes folder. And then finally, the same to open up the Hurricanes ArcMap file. Now, you can see that the Hurricanes map file has opened, and we have basically what you have here is uh, four different Atlantic Hurricanes for the 2005 hurricane season. Um, the selection of hurricanes, otherwise it would be way too crowded. But just to show you around the program, to give you an idea of what you're being asked in the assignment as you read instructions, um, first of all, this right here on the left side is your table of contents. As you can see, it says table of contents at the top left here. Um, everything listed here is a, a map layer. So um, you'll notice that each map layer has a checkbox, and if you click to turn the check off, it makes the map layer disappear. And then conversely, if you check it back on, it makes it reappear. So you can do that with any of these. Um, basically, for this assignment, we're going to leave all of them on, but feel free to experiment as you please. Now, the assignment's also going to ask you frequently to open up the attribute table. And even though there are screenshots and instructions describing the process, I do want to include it in this tutorial. So. For instance, if you wanted to open up the attribute table for Irene, the map layer Irene, we'll go to the table of contents, we'll left click Irene to highlight it, then we're going to right click, which prompts what's called this, it's a context menu, just this pop-up menu right here. We want the third option down, this says open attribute table. So select that, and the table opens. And what you get here is basically a series of information that you don't see on the map. Or um, you get basically things like a latitude, longitude, the date, the time, the wind speed in knots, the central air pressure in millibars, and the stage or category of the storm at this measurement point. So each row is a separate measurement point, and each row corresponds with a point on the map. So if I move this out of the way, you could see that this uh, radioactive or nuclear blue, whatever they call this off color, is also visible on the map for the same points that I've highlighted. Now, what this assignment is going to have you do is to sort columns on occasion. So what that means is you want to go to the column in question. It's usually going to be the pressure column. 
put the cursor over the header. The header is the gray area right here with the name. Right click. And then you have the option to sort ascending or sort descending. Sort ascending gives you the lowest value at the top and the highest value at the bottom. And sort descending would give you the opposite. So that will be the process you'll repeat numerous times um, throughout the assignment. It's not that long, it's just something to get you acquainted with the uh, software. Um, watch this tutorial over and over again. Read the instructions carefully. Um, the last thing I do want to show you is that you could open multiple attribute tables at the same time. It kind of saves you the trouble of having to kind of memorize too many numbers. So let's, for instance, if I tried to open up Katrina's and then Rita's uh, attribute table. Notice that all three of them open in the exact same window and they're tabbed. Tab means that you can click on the tab at the bottom here to activate the appropriate table. Okay, so that should more or less get you going. Um, hopefully this addresses any questions you may have. Of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Um, I am around in my office, so we can always set up an appointment. So I hope you find this uh, tutorial helpful.